The Lublin region, or Lubelskie, is one of the Polish regions of a typical agricultural character. Good quality soil and favorable climate conditions make the share of agricultural area in the total area of the region one of the highest in Poland. The mosaic of various crops, meadows and pastures and the extensive agricultural production continued in many places contribute to the biological diversity of the region. Many species of plants and animals inhabit not only the fields and meadows of the region, but also midfield plantings, shrubs, bogs, and ponds, and other components of the agricultural landscape. Czym jest bioróżnorodność? What is biodiversity? Well, biodiversity, to put it short, is a variation of all forms of life in all ecosystems, both terrestrial and aquatic ones. Biodiversity can be seen on at least three levels. First, genetic variation within a species. Second, the variability between the species within an ecosystem and the variability of ecosystems themselves. There are many rare and endangered species in the agricultural landscape of Lubelskie. Among the endangered bird species there is the aquatic warbler. Its population in the region has a global importance. The European pond turtle population in the area is the largest in the country. The region of Lublin is the only sanctuary for the speckled ground squirrel, both in Poland and throughout the whole European Union. The presence of the speckled ground squirrel in the Lublin region results from the location of the region on the edge of the Great Steppe Belt. Steppe habitats, due to their high natural value, are covered by a number of various conservation policies. Lubelski is home to the Polesie and Rostocze national parks, as well as many landscape parks and nature reserves. A number of Natura 2000 areas are also to be found across the region. Natura 2000 sites can be divided into two groups protected by the birds directive. First is the special areas of conservation of birds. Among them there is the valley of the Middle Bug, Rostocze, Janowskie forests, the forests of Parchew or the Vistula river gorge of Lesser Poland. Second is habitat areas directive or special protection areas among which we can find the Poleskie area of protection of the river Bug, the Uściwierskie lake protection area and many others. Natura 2000 and other elements of the Nature Conservation Network are designed to preserve biodiversity with the wealth of all forms of life in the given area. However, many valuable habitats and rare species of Lubelskie can also be found outside the protected areas, especially in locations with extensive agriculture.
The extraordinary abundance of wild flora is one of the most remarkable features of Lubelski's nature. The area abounds in a lot of rare and endangered plant species. Most of them can be seen on meadows and bogs. The most valuable meadow species include the common marsh orchid and the early marsh orchid, Gladiolus imbricatus, the marsh gentian and the fringed pink. The singularities of the marsh are the common butterworth and the marsh heliborine. A rare habitat is xerothermic grassland swords. The plants growing here are unique. These include the golden flax, the spring pheasant's eye, the lady's slipper orchid, Pontecium maculatum, Hametzetisus albus, or the European dwarf cherry. The region of Lublin is especially important for conservation of very rare species of plants. They can be found only in few locations in Poland. Such species include Hametzetisus albus, Pontecium maculatum or Carlina onopordifolia. Carlina onopordifolia is a species of grasslands which is enlisted in the list of species important for the European community. It is strictly protected and also listed in the Polish Red Book of Plants. It is associated with dry, xerothermic grassland swords of the community of Inula ensifolia. Carlina onopordifolia, a stemless plant that reproduces only from seeds. Adult plants die after blossoming in July or August. Therefore, an important element of conservation of this species is to provide fertile seeds and places for them to sprout. Seeds germinate on bare soil, with plants and their residues eaten by grazing animals. Some interesting plants can also be found in the more common habitats. For example, on arable lands where cornflowers and common poppies grow. The region of Lublin, with its specific, fragmented and extensive agriculture, can be particularly valuable for the protection of some weed species. Once they were very common throughout the country, but nowadays they vanish, especially in the conditions of intensive agriculture in western Poland. These species include the Pullman's weatherglass, the common corn cockle, the Falkling Luxpur or the Summer Pheasant's Eye. The richness of white flora of Lubelski has also an impact on the diversity of animals. Every plant species is related to a number of different organisms, especially insects. There are many insects of the Orthoptera orderin in the fields and meadows, including, among others, grasshoppers, crickets, and mole crickets. The European mole cricket is one of our largest national insects. It is an important food of many birds, such as the hoopoe or barn owl. It is considered to be a pest, but 
It also is a natural enemy of many other pests, such as grubs or larvae of moths. Grasshoppers and bush crickets are quite numerous on the meadows. They consume a lot of biomass of grass and other plants and thus have a significant impact on the circulation of matter. Orthoptera insects are an important link in the food chain. They are the feeding base of many predators, including spiders. The wasp spider and the four-spot orb weaver are the two most common spider species that hunt for insects in the fields and meadows. The mantis is a rare, peculiar insect species that is found more and more frequently in the agricultural landscape of the region. Insects, spiders and other invertebrates are an important component of bird food. The abundance and composition of species of invertebrates decide whether a bird will set up a nest in a given place. This close relationship of birds and other organisms make birds a good indicator of the healthy condition of the entire ecosystem. Is there an index or other tool to assess the state of biodiversity based on a variety of birds? Yes, there is one and it is called the Farmland Bird Index, FBI. When it comes to the agricultural landscape of Poland, the FBI index has been in the red for the past several years. The decline of the population is about 12 to 16 percent compared to the year 2000. The number of farmland birds is falling quick, but not as quick as in Western Europe, where over the last 30 years about 300 million birds have disappeared from the agricultural landscape. Probably 38 to 40 million of larks alone have disappeared over that time. That means one million lark nests are gone in Europe each year. What is the real reason for the decline of the population of farmland birds? Surely the reason is the intensification of agriculture. All activities leading to the dwindling population of birds have become more intense. The main factor is the use of pesticides, which causes the reduction of food supply. The other reasons are modern tillage and farm management techniques, or the use of heavy equipment that destroy bird nests. The Montagu Harrier can be an example. The earlier the harvest, the more nests are lost. Also, the collection of green forage from meadows can cause the nests of the grey partridge to be run over. Adult birds run away, but nests are destroyed. Other factors of a more local impact are the burning of stubble, relatively harmless for adult birds, but causing changes in the soil fauna, which the birds feed on. As a result, the breeding is worse and the population falls. Of all common nesting birds of Poland, the strongest decline has been reported for northern lapwings and meadow pipits. Almost 280 bird species in Europe are threatened with extinction, 
of which 60% are birds inhabiting lands used for agricultural purposes. This is due to changes in modern agriculture which has shifted towards intensive farming and on the other hand discontinuation of cultivation. What do you think about the abandonment of agricultural land usage? Has this an impact on the diversity of farmland birds? On the one hand, there is an intensification of agriculture, but on the other, a large part of the agricultural land is being abandoned. As a result, weeds grow there for years which is beneficial for many species of birds, for example the wind chat. On the other hand, after some time, the land becomes overgrown with trees and shrubs, and the birds that prefer open landscapes withdraw from such places. Both the discontinuation of cultivation and the excessive intensification of production, combined with irrational and excessive fertilization and chemical plant protection, contribute to the deterioration of biodiversity. These changes in the Lublin region are not as visible as in other regions of Europe, especially Western Europe, where many species have completely disappeared or have greatly reduced their populations. Birds are not the only group of organisms whose population is vanishing from the agricultural landscape. Other organisms are also under strong influence of changes in agriculture. Thanks to the data collected in the wildlife monitoring program, especially bird monitoring, we are aware of what is going on with nature in the rural areas of Poland. Birds are an indicator of the condition of nature. Knowing about the disappearance of some species, we can see that something bad may be happening with other species that are not monitored. We know that some species' population is falling, and we hope that in the near future instruments to protect the nature of rural areas will be implemented on a larger scale. Such an instrument can be the agri-environmental program and the greening of the common agricultural policy which focuses on the preservation of landscape elements instead of supporting intensive farming as it was formerly the case. Finally, only the appropriate diagnosis of threats and implementation of appropriate remedial measures can protect valuable species of plants and animals of Lubelskie from the fate of their Western European mates. Biodiversity is the green wealth of the Lubin region. Sustainable agriculture, in addition to food production, should protect this wealth. Conservation and protection of biodiversity also provide benefits for farmers. Among them, particularly relevant is natural protection against pests as well as pollination. Let's protect nature to preserve our common heritage. But in order to save it, we should try and get to know and understand it.